When we fall asleep at night, one of the first things that happens is we start blocking sensory input, so the brain stops paying attention to your external and internal environment. The next thing that happens as you go into non-dream sleep is your skeletal muscles relax. When we go into dream sleep, our brain is so active that the brain actually paralyzes us so that the skeletal muscles are completely paralyzed. Well, the tongue and the back of the throat are skeletal muscles. So when we fall asleep at night, the muscles to the back of the throat and everybody are going to relax and they're going to collapse. And in some of us, 25% of men and about 10% women, the back of the tongue can fall over the breathing tube, the trachea, blocking the flow of air. The muscle that controls breathing that does not relax will start sucking harder to get air in through this narrowed passageway. As the airflow gets funneled through that narrowed passageway, the airflow gets turbulent. As the airflow gets turbulent, these tissues start to vibrate. That's where snoring comes. <laughs> that is the death rattle. That is not something that is normal. It is frequent and it is common, but it indicates the only way you can snore is if you are suffocating. Mm -hmm. So when that happens, you start sucking hard to get air in. When you do that, you can suck blood up from the legs up into the right atrium, so the right side of the heart fills up with more blood than it's used to, like you're fluid overloaded. When that happens, it'll secrete a chemical that goes to the kidneys, causing you to get up to pee. So getting up at night to urinate many times is usually secondary to sleep apnea, not diabetes or drinking too much water at night. The mouth comes open, so you start awakening with a dry mouth. As you jerk awake, you pull the muscles in your neck, and so you start awaking with headaches. The blood pressure falls when you're choking like this. The oxygen level may fall. When you wake up, the blood pressure shoots up. The oxygen level shoots up. This goes on all night long. That activates the sympathetic parasympathetic nervous system, so we get inflammatory responses, which increases the risk of heart attacks, strokes, and the brain is constantly waking itself up all night long. <coughs> and you're, mo you're moving about to keep you breathing at night. So you get a very fragmented sleep. So now you wake up exhausted, you start developing high blood pressure, the risk of heart attacks increases, obesity increases, diabetes, everything. Fortunately, it's very easy to treat. We put this little mask over your nose, it's hooked up to a hose that goes to a little tiny machine that just blows the back pressure of air. It's a CPAP. A CPAP. We stands for to. Continuous Positive Airway Pressure, CPAP. Just blows the back pressure of air to the back of the throat, so when the throat starts to relax, it hits that higher column of air, bingo, it's gone. Mm -hmm.